this is Alex Atkin again, the farm manager of Tucson Village Farm. As summer approaches here in the southwest and as temperatures rapidly start to heat up, it's really important to give some of your temperature sensitive crops, such as your tomatoes, some protection during the hot summer months. Tomato pollen, for example, doesn't stay viable in over 95 degree temperatures, so it is really helpful to shade your tomatoes and there are a few ways that you can do that. Here are some of our beautiful shade structures at Tucson Village Farm. We recommend getting a shade cloth that's about 40 or 50 percent. The point of shade cloth isn't to completely block out the sun, but to provide a filtered sunlight to lower the intensity of the sun and also lower the temperature of the sun. Tomatoes do prefer a full day of sun, however, with around eight hours of sunlight a day. But here in the hot, desert, arid southwest, they do like filtered sunlight. And that's what the shade cloth provides. The plants do prefer early morning sun the most. However, that afternoon sun can be incredibly hot. So you may, might want to consider putting up some shade cloth on the western side of your garden beds. Here you'll see Farmer Tom putting up some shade cloth on one of our shade ramadas. We love these shade ramadas not only because they help to keep our plants cooler, but they also help to keep us cooler when we're working in our garden in the hot summer months. If you don't want to build a shade ramada like we have at the farm, you could put up a more simple shade structure in your garden using rebar, PVC hoops, and shade cloth. To install this easy structure, you just need to put some rebar in the ground, slide those hoops right over the top to cover your garden bed, and then you can put that shade, 40 or 50 percent like we said, right over the top. You'll see that the shade cloth is covering the tomatoes on all of the sides and can be easily fastened with a binder clip. Other plants can also be used to provide some shade to your garden, such as these vining trombetta squash that were planted along a trellis on the western side of the tomatoes. Other crops such as gourds or beans or other vining crops could be used in the same manner, but you may want to provide some supplemental shade to your garden while these vining crops are still growing and can fully protect your tomatoes. It is also really important to make sure your tomatoes get pollinated when it starts to get hot. As I said, if it gets above 95 degrees, that pollen isn't viable in the flower. Tomatoes have a perfect flower with both the male and female parts in the same flower. So if that pollen doesn't drop, your, your tomato won't pollinate and you won't get any tomatoes. Here you'll see one of our AmeriCorps members, Nicole, gently shaking the tomato plant to get that pollen to drop. She's doing it early in the morning while the temperatures are still cool. Although pollinators and even a windy day can help to pollinate your tomatoes, hand pollinating them ensures that you'll get a good crop. Thanks for watching and happy gardening! I wish you the best of tomato harvest this summer.